Julianne Kopke is a German-Peruvian woman who is well known for surviving a plane crash in the Peruvian jungle in 1971. She was 17 years old at the time of the accident and was traveling with her mother to visit her father, who was working in Peru. On December 24, 1971, the commercial airliner carrying Julianne, her mother, and 91 other passengers and crew members crashed into the Peruvian rainforest due to lightning strike. The plane broke apart in mid-air, and Julianne was thrown from the fuselage and into the jungle. Julianne fell about 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters, through the air, and miraculously survived the fall with a broken collarbone, a gash in her arm, and other injuries. She was the only survivor of the crash. After regaining consciousness, Julianne realized she was alone in the jungle and began to search for other survivors. She found a small stream and followed it downstream, hoping to find help or civilization. Julianne had no food, water, or survival gear, and had to rely on her wits and ingenuity to stay alive. Julianne was able to find a small shelter, built by the pilots of the crashed plane, that contained some food and supplies. She was also able to catch fish and collect rainwater to survive. She remained near the shelter for several days until she was rescued by loggers who found her on January 3, 1972, 11 days after the crash. Julianne's survival in the Peruvian jungle is considered a remarkable feat, given the harsh conditions and her lack of survival skills. Her story has been documented in several books and documentaries, and she has become an inspiration to many people around the world. In the aftermath of the crash, Julianne suffered from survivor's guilt and post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. However, she eventually recovered and went on to become a biologist, dedicating her life to the study and conservation of the rainforest that saved her life. After recovering from her injuries and PTSD, Julianne returned to her studies and earned a degree in biology from the Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich. She later earned a PhD in zoology from the University of Würzburg. Julianne has dedicated her career to studying and conserving the Amazon rainforest, with a particular focus on the effects of logging and deforestation. She has authored several scientific papers and books on the topic and has been a vocal advocate for rainforest conservation. In 1998, Julianne published her memoir, When I Fell from the Sky which recounts her survival story and her subsequent recovery and career as a biologist. Julianne has also been involved in several humanitarian projects in Peru, including the establishment of a research station in the Tambopata Reserve, which is dedicated to the study and conservation of the rainforest. Julianne's mother, Maria Kopke, was a well-known ornithologist who specialized in the study of Peruvian birds. She was also on the same flight as Julianne but did not survive the crash. In honor of her mother's work, Julianne established the Maria Kopke Award for Contributions to Peruvian Ornithology. Julianne has received several awards for her contributions to science and conservation, including the Cross of the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany, the Rittner Medal for Conservation, and the Georg Forster Prize for Scientific Achievement. Julianne has been featured in several documentaries about her survival story, including the 2011 film Wings of Hope, directed by Werner Herzog. In 2019, a team of scientists discovered a new species of snake in the Amazon rainforest and named it after Julianne. The snake, called Lunomia coepki, is a type of venomous caterpillar hunter. Julianne has been married twice and has two children. Her first husband was an American biologist who she met while studying in Munich, and her second husband was a Peruvian biologist who she met while working in the Amazon. Julianne has been critical of the media attention surrounding her survival story, 
arguing that it has overshadowed her scientific work and contributions to conservation. Despite the traumatic nature of her experience, Julianne has spoken openly about the positive impact that it had on her life, stating that it gave her a sense of purpose and a greater appreciation for the natural world. She has also expressed gratitude for the kindness of the loggers who rescued her, and has maintained a close relationship with them over the years. Julianne has been a strong advocate for air safety and has called for better training and safety regulations for pilots and airlines. She has also criticized the airline industry for prioritizing profits over safety. In 2011, Julianne returned to the site of the plane crash for the first time since the accident. She made the trip with her husband and a team of scientists, and they used satellite imagery to locate the exact spot where the plane went down. Julianne's survival story has inspired several works of fiction, including the 2019 novel The Girl Who Fell from the Sky by Simon Marr. Julianne has been a vocal critic of the Brazilian government's policies towards the Amazon rainforest, arguing that they have contributed to deforestation and the destruction of indigenous cultures. In recent years, Julianne has become an advocate for women in science and has spoken out about the challenges faced by women in the field. She has argued that women scientists are often overlooked and undervalued, and has called for greater recognition and support for their work. 